Here he is. Hey up. All right, gorgeous. All right. Where are we? Rochdale. Shithole. It is a bit of a shithole. Shithole, isn't it? Honestly, we stand out like sore fucking thumbs here. We're too good for this. And also, as well, I left Leeds this morning. Uh, as soon as I got towards any sign, it said Manchester. Rain. 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 Yeah, straight away. Fucking shit didn't it? Rain. Just sit down. Rain. I thought I'd left all this behind when I left Rotherham <laughs> and moved to Bath. Yeah, we're yeah. trying some food out. Code below. Code Hopefully below. Link below. Code. Link below. Link below. Yeah, link yeah below. we're at Lodo headquarters. Probably the best food we've ever tasted. Yeah, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. For 10. 11, 11, 11 out of 10, 10 probably. <laughs>this is going to be enjoyable this isn't why they're doing it they're not saying do you like hot food like oh, really? because it's going to taste oh, really? amazing it's a world's hot oh, really? chilli really yes yeah, so it's going to be awful for me yeah because you're the stupid enough to rise to a challenge I'll just go no I'm right. you'll be like you can't leave here we're going like well I can't do it I well, can't I've got to do it. something exactly bon appetit so what's in the quiche so ham no eat lean cheese a little bit of soft and onion a bit of parsley eggs about 150-ish calories. That's decent, isn't it? And about four calories. That's well good. It's probably better than the quiche you had the other day. It's very good. Is that right? It's very good. good. Very, very good. Isn't it? 150 calories, isn't it? Very good. Very, very good. That is. Mm -hmm. Breakfast quiche. That's what it is. There'll be breakfast oh, pizza in a minute. Breakfast pizza as well. Breakfast yeah. pizza's coming, <laughs> bacon egg pizza. So quiche. So you need a tin like that, seven inch tin, and then you roll out your load open so it's thin, like a tortilla thin. Yeah. And you just stuff it in there. And then you mix four eggs, a little bit of half fat creme fraiche, add your ingredients, ham, <laughs> bit of cooked onion, bit of cheese, pour it in the thing. Stick in the oven half an hour. Easy. Piece of cake. I bet you don't look like that though when I do it. You like that? Yeah. Stop eyeing up my keys, mate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love eating with you. You had anybody else up here to take steps to? Show the first YouTube. What's that? First YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> this is your first YouTube. Yeah. Privilege. <laughs> and you've gone with us. <laughs> <laughs> it can only get better, though, can't it? I see what you're doing, you're pitching it low. <laughs> That's it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You weren't the first people we asked. Right, brilliant. <laughs>
probably want to put some carbs with it, but not essential. Maybe again, 30, 40 grams of carbs an hour to two hours before training to allow digestion. And then that's it. Um, <clears throat> then you'd probably be all right eating an hour to two hours after. It's yeah. that basic. So again, you would look for a protein serving, 25 to 30 grams. Um, but anything other than that is unnecessary. Yeah. Um, how important is it when I eat, I eat breakfast, timings on meals, etc. Practically irrelevant. Yeah. 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 Doesn't really doesn't matter. And I think some people get into this habit as well of like st- having a protocol and then sticking to it. So like some people think, oh, I sk- I'm someone who skips breakfast, so therefore every day I have to skip breakfast. It's like it doesn't matter if one day you skip it, the next day you don't. The next yeah. day you skip lunch as well. Like people get so caught up in it, and like I, I'm like that. I have days where I just don't eat breakfast, and then yeah. some days I do eat breakfast, and it just depends on the situation you're in and all that sort of stuff. But. I, it's the big. That's probably one of the biggest myths I think in nutrition that when you eat has this sort of a massive impact yeah. on your on your good results and it's just so irrelevant. Yeah, like timing wise, your body's not going to know what time you've eaten something. And um, last one is, what are your thoughts on detoxes and juice cleanses? They don't work. It's a trick question. Yeah, they don't. They don't work. No. They're, they're bullshit. Um, it's just companies preying on vulnerable people who just want to lose weight or want to change their health for the better. Yeah. You've got. Um, liver and kidneys are going to do the same thing. If you want to detox, just don't eat anything. Yeah. That'll do the same thing as, de- as taking a, a green juice or powder those, or whatever. Yeah, like. a lot of those juices and powders and stuff just contain laxatives. Like, yeah. like they just contain laxatives. And then you will feel a little bit better after fucking unloading a load of shit. Like, yeah, you drop weight you, real quick because yeah, you've got no you're, food in your intestine, you've got no food in your system, you drop a lot of carbs, drop a lot of water, <laughs> drop weight real quick, but then as soon as you start eating, you put that weight back on again and you think you've got fat. And then you think it was a juice. And you think it was a juice that helped, and it wasn't. So then you'll try it again. It's just the whole thing. People have this this really poor association with scale weight and not understanding the effects of food intake, carb intake, water intake on body composition. Um, uh, Sorry, on on the weight on the scales and not on body composition. They just don't, they can't dissociate the two. This hot sauce might just send me over the edge. In one, yeah? Mm. Very good. Isn't it? He's a good cook, isn't he? <laughs> good, isn't he? That's what he's doing. I'm not even just saying If you just it, put enough, enough on the Lodo, mm. loads of different prosciutto on that. What is it again? Prosciutto yam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Prosciutto yam? Yeah. It's very good. You can also get palmery ham. Palm yeah. ham. <laughs> and smiley face ham. <laughs> Very good, isn't it? Yeah. That would be easy. I could just cook like this, wouldn't it? Mm. Well, this is the one that I'm excited to try. Mm. Oh, yeah. So what we're saying, each one of them? Um, with the bits on top, it's probably about 70 calories and five carbs. <laughs> wow. Right then, I'm going to rate it. Certainly. Dense, isn't it? Yeah. Go on then. How do you do that? How do they do it? How do they do it? It's a secret, man. It's like a proper brownie. I wouldn't know the difference if someone put brownie in front of me or that. Would you be able to tell? Yeah. Do you reckon? Yeah. Do you reckon you could? I can't lie. Cut. I don't reckon I could. Cut. <laughs> I don't think I could. I'm not joking. It's extremely good though. For 80 calories, rate that out of 10. Nine and a half. Nine and a half? <laughs> What's it last half on? I just can't give anything 10. Can't you? No. Just the rules, isn't it? 11. 11. You can 11. give it 11, yeah. Can you <laughs> give it 11? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Very good. It's got a good panel on it though. Oh. It's so good. How do you do it? 80 calories. Packet mix. That's very good, isn't it? it I didn't think like, it was going to be this good. It's like dense want. as well. Like, you know, it's got, really like, good. You, know, you usually get low calorie brownies, they're not dense. They're really airy. Yeah. They last like three to five days as well once you've cooked them. They wouldn't last three to five no. days, Miles. No, no, no. <laughs> I weren't expecting it to be that good. No. Honestly. It's about the same as a 5 1, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's a million times better. That's a million yeah. times better. Miles than a 5 1. Do the chocolate chips come in the mix? 
chocolate yeah. chips are in the mix. No, the, the only thing that we've added to that on top is just a bit of white chocolate, and the nuts, just to tar, kind of dress so it. So it's still actual, the actual brownie chocolate chips about 62. That's amazing. That is amazing, isn't it? Mm. Like, for it to just be a packet mix as well. That is unbelievable, though. Incredible. Imagine that with like, the scoop hair top as well, like, warmed. Yeah. yeah. It's like oh, no, proper dense. It is, isn't it? I think you I would expect it to be drying, like, you know, like crumbly. It's like, moist, that's yeah. the exact word you'd use. Moist. Yeah. Got a challenge coming up. Yeah, yeah. apparently. All that's in front of us is this at the moment. And a spoon. But they look really pleased with themselves. Yeah. So <laughs> they cool. look really smug already. There's a lot Sheer of foil trays. There's a lot of foil trays. What's all this prep about? I'm going to say it's not going to be as bad as vomit jelly beans. Okay. Uh, okay. That makes, feel, that makes you feel better then. Yeah, dog food. Fucking horrendous. So the idea here is you're going to make your own pizzas. Excellent. And we like have, because um, Lodo is obviously so versatile. Yeah, you sweet link below. Say if you're <laughs> yeah. So we have the ingredients to the perfect sweet pizza and the perfect savoury pizza. Mm. I'm going to ask you a series of um, five questions and you get to choose your toppings, but unfortunately the toppings are hidden. So sweet it, it could be a combination, I mean you could end up with a perfect sweet pizza or a perfect savoury pizza, but where's the fun in that? So it could be that We've stitched ourselves up here doing these silly challenges. This is, why, this is why I said to you we shouldn't do it. Chicken and chocolate or cheese <laughs> and banana. Dan loves a cheesy banana. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm used to, mate. Yeah. So, like I said, I've got five questions here. Whoever gets it right gets to choose one, and the other guy will get the other. Who's going first? No, it's fastest. Fastest. <laughs> fastest Fuck off. What are the uh, sounds that you've got, mate? Right? Sounds? I don't know. You can have a little buzzer. You can have a little buzzer if you want, if you've got, got the answer. What do you want? Ah. Right, there you go. Sounds just like a buzzer, doesn't it? I'll just go beep. Oh, pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> Only because it's easier and quicker to get out if I get it wrong. Oh, yeah. it again. So, in American dollars, yeah. so this will be the closest, what is the world's most expensive pizza? <laughs> well, I suppose you both answer on this one. So this one's even a, a quick well, no, one. But, well, I'll let you go first, sir. No. Why? Because you just, you just buzzed in. <laughs> yeah, to be so fair. So you've got to say something. 5,000. 5,000. 4,999. You're a good. <laughs> You're the winner. Yes! <laughs> Get in. So the world's most expensive pizza um, was 12,000. Wow. 12,000? Was it with a Lodo base? Was it Lodo, yeah. Because <laughs> it should be. Leave below. So there is um, two base options here. Yeah. <clears throat> so which one would you like? Well, for me, these for my pizza. Yeah. Oh, it's not. You don't get. You literally pick. Savory. You haven't really won which one. Oh, yeah. right. Oh, I just picked. Oh, yeah. fucking hell. <laughs> so there's absolutely no advantage of actually answering the question right. There's no advantage of it. What's the fucking point? Because I don't know what's coming. <laughs> and it makes no sense. The questions are redundant. I love that you didn't even realise that. I was like, well, obviously. So what's the fucking point, Kenny? So even if you get everyone right, I might go sweet this time and save it the fucking next time. <laughs> fucking hell. You did agree to this before. <laughs> what you say? <laughs> We've signed no disclaimer there. <laughs> <laughs> never, like, never, never liked Lodo. Never liked it. Never liked it. So, never liked it. so what have you got? Oh, that was just one question, was it? Woo! Right, give me that. Good start for a pizza, that, innit? Oh, you twat! It's a new in at the moment, mate. <laughs> are we cooking nice to see the tides are too. We're cooking it yeah, as well. We right, yeah. so. Yeah, I'm going all in, I reckon. Oh <laughs> my god. Oh my god. Can I eat yours as well? I'm gambling. I'm gambling on it. Oh, you see, I'm going to have to melt it oh, a bit. Oh, can't do that. <laughs> right, so from edge to edge, um, which is the world's biggest pizza? So I've got this in feet. So from how many feet from edge to edge is the world's biggest pizza? Beep. I want to say 100 feet. 100 feet? I'm going to say 99 feet. <laughs> you are right. Bastard! <laughs> so from edge to edge, the biggest pizza um, was 122 feet. That's ridiculous. Oh. That is ridiculous. So, how big where would you are. put that in the oven? <laughs> <laughs> what oven are you putting that in? Go on then, so, Dan. Uh, See, it's pointless anyway. This one? Yeah. 
Oh, oh come on! Oh, come on! Oh, shit! It's fascinating as well, though. Yeah, I'm just annoyed that you got something good on it, though. So if we get all these right, these might be two decent pieces. So there you go. Yeah. Come on, okay, right, so the next question. Um, what was it? Do you want to just per capita, which country consumes the most pizza? Beep. Go on. America. Nope. Is it we both, is... both get it wrong? It doesn't... Well, no, you keep going. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you a clue. Italy. No. Begin Germany. N. Nigeria. No. Norway. <laughs> yes, get in. You're Norway. rubbish, mate. <laughs> Norway. How uh, did you not get that? National Pizza Month. February. No. March. June. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. <laughs> I win. You're so good, mate. Unless it's January. <laughs> then it's that one. January. You're so good, mate. October. Yes. Does that count, though? What? Oh, does it really mean? I think that's hard. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's all right, yeah. Though. You had to look. I reckon so it's all right. right. Like chocolate. Yeah, peppers, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming off a fucking tweet every on time. This. You get to, every time. I'm happy every with time. this. <laughs> cheese and chocolate. It's like cheesecake, isn't it? But I mean, smarter. I, I could do without. <laughs> <laughs> what is the most popular pizza topping? Pepperoni. Other than cheese? Pepperoni. <laughs> me, again? You are shit, mate. I did say cheese when he asked me. I like cheese. <laughs> What is that? I think you fucked up again. What is that? Oh, you. Oh, it's not even that. Oh, you. Oh, what? That could have been decent. I don't think this is. Yeah. Yeah, I've got fucking chili. All of it as well. All of it. There's not all of it. All of it. Not all of it. All of it, you said. You will do the fucking marshmallows, mate. Might help. How's that? Is that right? Keep going. Keep going. Oh, you fucked up. <laughs> so there you go. Brilliant. Cheers. Is it chicken? Oh, you got enough pepper in the chicken on there, no? Oh, come on, my heart. Right on. Nutella was the best thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That is not good. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to make it through this. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. How good with spice, isn't it? I don't mind spice, it's um, <laughs> the, the taste, <laughs> mate. Yeah. It's more of the, the taste. What, what is it? It's the three pieces. It's about to be walnuts. <laughs> chocolate chocolate that's been burnt on top. And chilli. <laughs> and pepper. <laughs> And pepper. Uh, oh, what pepper black, just <laughs> going for it. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have the you rating out of ten? I mean, it's still only a four. But... <laughs> four. It's got the biggest fucking pepper on. Yeah. And chicken. <laughs> oh, I'm not it. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Covered in it. It's a fucking joke. <laughs> Whose idea with this? Not mine. Look at the state of it. <laughs> Looks like it's been through someone. It tastes like Nutella. Trust, trust me. Trust me. Everything it's going to go all in my fucking Come face. On, all in one. <laughs> that, does not, that does not taste like Nutella. It tastes like garlic. You fucking liar. 
It doesn't taste like Nutella. <laughs> Oh, for fuck's sake. I just want you to try it. Even that, even that tastes like garlic. It's a marshmallow. I just want you to try it, mate. Two slices. What do you think of mine? I haven't tried yours. I'm not trying it. What do you mean you're not trying it? I just it? want you to try some of mine. How are you eating it? It's easy, mate. It's not easy. Look like this, look. You put it all on, you fold it, like that, and then you eat it. It doesn't taste like Nutella. It doesn't taste like Nutella. Oh. Oh. I never thought I'd be eating that pizza after it to take the taste off something else. <laughs> Fucking hell. This is who the real manager's seen. He's trying to get to see. Can't wait to eat this one now. Oh. This is not good. We make him a, a nice sweet pizza. He's got to embrace the taste in it. Let's make him a nice sweet pizza. It's, it's too... Um... I think I won that. <laughs> I think we're both losers here. Mate. I thought mine was going to be worse than yours, I have to say. It is I worse than yours. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> I think that's what you It's not alright. We should do more of these because it's the only thing I can beat you at. There's a, there's a, bit, there's a bin down here, do you want it? Child with his food, just eat it. It's probably great. <laughs> The sign. Mate, you, you, you stand back. <laughs> so, just finished at Ludo for yeah. the morning. Very good. Incredible. I other than, other than a good five to ten minutes of it. Mine Not so right. good. Mine was alright. Stop was saying it was alright. It wasn't. Right. I tasted Mate. it. It wasn't alright. But the brownies, though. Unbelievable. Those brownies. Unbelievable. And we're not even selling this. You so. could actually eat them if you weren't dieting and enjoyed them. 100%. And, and like, that's the thing about them. Like, do you know if those were in the shop with a normal brownie and they're like, oh, I'm going to have a brownie, I would pick them over, yeah, no over a brownie. Just yeah. because you would know that, actually, the calories, yeah. I, I could eat fucking ten times And if you added a few chocolate chips to that as well, like in an off-season when you weren't dieting, it would it would be incredible. And like you say, warmed up, bit of ice cream, oh, halo top or something, decent. Okay. Everybody at Lodo were quality as well. Yeah, really nice. So a shout out to those guys, because I know that some of you watch. But no, in all seriousness, like it's a top quality food product to help you stay on your track with your diet. What's not to love about it? What is not to love? Yeah. Incredible. Other than putting garlic chicken with Nutella. Right? It's, so, it's so versatile as well. Like, obviously you saw there, we had a quiche, we had brownies, we had like a breakfast pizza, a savoury pizza, a sweet pizza. <laughs> like, the, you can make all sorts of things. That quiche like, I'm making again. You can make uh, sun fried chicken out of it. You can make fish cakes. You can make yeah. you can make loads. Like it's so versatile. Um, and again, it just shows that when you're on a diet, you don't need to stick to low calorie, boring foods. You can have low calorie, exciting yeah. and tasty foods. Um, and it just makes your fucking diet infinitely easier. It's a lifesaver for so many people. Not literally. Diet. I didn't say literally, so that's a good job. But, <laughs> but still, not literally. It's not literally a lifesaver. Yeah. But when you're dieting and when you want those sorts of foods or you want something that's similar to that. Is, is great great product and they've got I know that speaking to them obviously this morning they've got a lot of great things coming out in the future as well so lots in the pipeline keep your eyes lots in the pipeline even more of these even more, even of, more of these yeah. we've got a long drive home back now to Bath 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 I know. yeah it's always been Bath we, we're getting quite a lot of these come up aren't we like the little fucking how do you pronounce stuff it's definitely Bath Scone or Scone but Bath and Bath Nougat or Nougat. but Bath and Bath is just where you live or where you're from yeah, it's still pronounced it wrongly uh, well, it's not Bath, is it? There's no R in it. Some people do say, you know, I agree with you, but... Correct. Some people say Bath. But yeah, anyway, this could go on forever. Yeah. See you later. Bye.